24th of April and uh, we're bouncing the old Land Cruiser up the uh, Canterbury River. I'd say quite a few of you will probably recognise. Got Jarrett the uh, springy South African along for a trip. Oh, yeah. uh, so he's obviously looking for a roaring stag or a bull tar or something. Um, yeah, nothing too, too special. We're going to be up here for three nights. we we'll bounce our way up the valley and we stay in a hut or two or do a bit of fly camping. So. Yeah, pretty nice day at the moment. There's supposed to be some bad weather coming in tonight and maybe tomorrow morning, but then it looks like it's going to be bluebird after that. So hopefully we hear some roaring stags or see some animals. It'll be good. Just going to try to find a nice way across here. It's not even the main flow, but. Nothing worse than getting stuck out here in this sort of country, so old mates in there in this crocs. It's always good when you have a uh, passenger that's keen. We short legged dog might have, might not have so much fun though. Give me a bone. Look at Barney! He's alright, he's alright. Oh no! Don't you lose them! Loves it. Oh well, we just arrived at the hut. She has a fair old bounce up the river. It's um, had some serious water in it lately, and uh, most of the old four drive tracks are washed out. So it took us probably almost four hours, three and a half, four hours. Pretty rough going, but now we made it. Uh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now. We actually bumped into a couple of hunters that had stayed here last night. Uh, yeah, fella Connor from Queenstown, another guy Matt from Nelson. Um, and they hadn't heard any, any roaring the whole time they are up here, so it's a little bit disappointing. They shot themselves a really nice chamois. So uh, well done to the lads on that. Um, but yeah, a bit disappointing on the uh, on the animal numbers and the lack of noise. Um, but it doesn't mean that something's not gonna happen. So we'll just um, pot around for an hour or so and then maybe load up on some gear and do a bit of glassing from the riverbed and have a look and a listen. And then I'd say the weather might um, might crap itself tonight. Doesn't look too bad at the moment, but um, yeah, that'd be good. Go for a look. You know what the old coffee does? Makes you want to poo. Yeah, well, coffee and poo time. Mmm. Definitely need a better view here. Still a good spot. Oh well, we've just um, started heading up up the valley from the hut. Um, we're just going to go for a bit of an evening look. Walk the bush edges, have a look and a listen, do a bit of glassing. See what we can come across. Not a lot of sign around in the river flats, but I guess it doesn't mean too much. Plenty of tucker around. It'll be good to see what we can see. Got your gay neck scarf on the video. <laughs> Is that on your head, Jared? <laughs> We're getting mowed by sandflies. We haven't seen any deer yet, but we've seen a couple of tar. There's a mob of bulls oh, on that face there. They just um, decided it was dinner time and just bolted downhill, which is pretty impressive to watch actually. I didn't even get the chance to put the um, camera on the spot of the whole mob of them just like fully sprinted straight downhill and they've just gone into a bit of a fold. But 
Yeah, we've seen two chamois and about 10 tar. A couple of chamois on these faces up behind us. Over there. Yeah, still nice to be out here. These sand flies are a pain though. Jarrett's definitely not winning cool points. <laughs> but, um, whether that's predicted is coming in from the south. We might get wet before the night's out, maybe. Well, the afternoon's wearing on. We're just going to have one last sort of crack at the glass and going to walk right into the middle of the riverbed and glass back onto the face that we've been sort of sitting on. Um, we haven't seen a lot to be honest, but keep looking, keep looking. Oh well, that hunt was a bit of a bit of a dud one. Oh, we're just about back at the hut now, and just on dark, but probably a bit hard to tell. Is big ugly southerly coming up the valley? Might get a uh, good bit of rain and maybe some snow tonight on the tops. But didn't hear any roars, didn't see any deer. Saw plenty of tar and a few chamois. So uh, yeah, a bit disappointing. Obviously not target species, but tomorrow is another day. Have another go then. Pretty good, mate. Pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, bunny. What do you reckon? It's not for you, hey? Eh? Oh, bloody good dog, eh? Hey? Bloody good. bit of a uh, late start this morning we had uh, rain on the roof and um, a bit of snow overnight on the top so we're just um, settling into a, a good brekkie good solid brekkie and then we're going to um, probably saddle up our packs for prepare for two nights anyway and head up the river see what we can see up there I think the weather's supposed to clear um, after lunch so we're just a bit relaxed this morning have a bit of tucker and then uh, yeah, head up valley, have a bit of a look around up there. Oh well, we're, um, we're settled up, we've got a couple of days with the gear on our back. We're going to head up valley. Um, whether we go to the next hut or we camp somewhere in between. In the glass and look at us then, but got a stiff southerly right up our ass. Jared seems like he's stiff things up his ass, I don't know, it's a bit weird. But it will carry on up anyway, the wind's not ideal, but um, we'll just uh, see what happens. Still nice being out here. We just scrambled round, right around that rock face there, trying to keep dry feet, thinking that there was a swing bridge here because there's a swing bridge marked on the map. But there's the old anchor for it, some posts, and we assume it went over here. There's a dock sign up there, just there. But there's no swing bridge, so guess what? We did all that for nothing. Yeah, old hunting's a bit lame at the moment, so we're, um, we're doing everything we can to spice it up. And uh, I just thought I'd better bring out the old um, good luck charm. Stag's gonna start roaring shortly. What do you reckon, Bunny? Hmm? Hmm? 
pretty good. Here's a funny update for you. So not that 18 minutes after Joe went down and went, and my good luck to we just hit a stair crawl. five or six minutes but good solid roars so I'm not sure if we're gonna sort of plan to sneak in on him without making noise or challenge him with a roar and hope he comes in. It's one of those tricky ones. I think we stuffed that one up. We um, obviously had that stag growing up on the terrace. And I think what we did is we probably left it too long by the time we went in after him. He was, um, I think he was just on a bit of a bit of a beat and moving through. Um, and we walked sort of upstream more, downwind and dropped our packs and uh, gear and stuff and then went in after him. By that time I think he just carried on on his beat and moved off. We never heard him again, whether he went around the corner on a ridge or across the, the creek or something but that one was pretty good most of the way and we did see sign of just one animal just walking down the ridge so I'd say that's all it could have been oh well Leeson's land it's just started snowing we'll uh, go back and rescue the dogs and set up a warm camp somewhere I think do a bit of glassing for the evening so just broke it back out of the bush from to pursuing that stag and we just heard him roaring way up on his face <laughs> up in here somewhere um, so we obviously hadn't spooked him but he just was moving really well for probably 10 minutes now he's gone dead quiet so maybe he's running to our scent when we were pissing around in the bush up there before but he's still going really well so, still promising. So we've um, just arrived at the next hut up the valley. Um, probably going to stay here the night, I'd say. We didn't have any luck with that roaring stag. I haven't seen much else tonight, but um, yeah, we'll keep trying. Bumped into a tramper in the hut here, um, but he's happy as. Nice to meet new people. He's a uh, mountain guide himself, so just had a hip replacement. Uh, morning of the third day, I just 
stooging up the river flats, having another look and a listen. Um, pretty quiet night, although we were in a hut, so we didn't hear much, but yeah, so we'll just get out and see what we come across, I suppose. Should be a nice day today, it's a bit cloud covered at the moment, it's supposed to be a blueberry day later. It's always good to know where these sort of gems are when the weather turns to shit. Quite a cool rock baby, you could sleep a couple of guys under that easy enough. Oh well, this morning's been a bit of a dud yet again. Um, we've climbed, we've gone way upstream from where we stayed last night and um, a lot of glass in and roaring all the way up. There's not even any deer sign in the valley floor, but we haven't seen a deer yet on this trip. <clears throat> We've seen probably 20, 25 tar this morning. No chamois and a few merinos. Uh, but I don't know if that means anything, but yeah, a few tar, no deer. So we're going to pack up all our gear and head back downstream, grab our gear at the hut and then probably carry on further down again. Hopefully we see something by the end of the day. May even see if that stag's roaring again and have another crack at him. But I will get walking. Shall we park below this, um, this stag again? He started roaring. We just um, loaded up our packs and we're heading back down the valley and the silly bastard decided to roar again. It's 2pm so the winds all over the show is a problem. I'm not just, just not too sure what we're going to do. We're just hoping he'll roar again and we'll try to come up with a bit of a plan. Oh, well, we're on our last ditch effort plan. Um, we head out tomorrow. We've actually uh, come back to the hut where we left the truck parked. I think it's the old in -reach. That's cool. Um, back to the hut where we left the truck parked after having a bit of a muck around with that roaring stag. He just went, went quiet on us and there yeah, like he did last night. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have a last ditch effort. Jarrett shot up a bit of a side, side stream and I'm going to have a bit of a, a hobbit round in the bush. Uh, see if we can't get anything roaring here yeah. and then uh, cruise back out tomorrow morning all in all it's been pretty cool get to see some new country stay in some cool huts just lacking animal numbers big time oh well it's all about the adventure see how we go tonight Oh well, I just popped back out on the river flats now. Um, I was quite a productive wee walk. I just got to see that hind in the yearling up close. I thought I heard a, va a very distant roar, but it turns out there's a red Hilux park just down there. Just right on that bush edge, so could well have been those buggers. I guess it's the weekend. Weather's primo, so 
in the guts of the raw, so I guess we'd expect everyone to be out. Probably a good thing I got out of the bush when I did. But anyway, I've seen some big wallows, they haven't been used for a wee while, but shit, they would have been, they would have been bloody awesome to get onto when, um, when the stags are cranking in them. Um, but yeah, a bit of sign, some of the nicest, nicest bush I've ever stalked in, up on that terrace was bloody awesome. Really nice actually, but um, oh well. I'll cruise back and grab my pack and back to the hut. Yeah, a nice evening. Oh, she's a doozy of a bitty stiff sock frost this morning. Oh, it's cold. But yeah, this morning we're going to start heading out, I think. Um, we're, going to load, we're loading the truck up now. And then uh, we'll be, start heading down the valley. Been a bit of a uh, letdown on animal numbers and roaring and that sort of thing. But hey, it's not all about that. We love the adventure as well, so we both had a really good time. Uh, but we'll head our way up the valley now. We might have a stop and a, a look and a listen and see what happens. We've got the whole day to do it, so we'll just um, get into it. It should be good. Hey, what are you doing living way up here all by yourself? Hey? You big old bruiser, where's your baits? Wasn't expecting to see you here. <laughs> 